Christina and, and we're, we're the, the Gorgeous Geeks and we're here today to talk about the Vampire Diaries episode entitled Disturbing Behavior because Stevia Well, mainly because it's Damon was having some disturbing behavior. And maybe it's for some other reasons, but um, Elena was trying to, I guess, leash him, and he didn't want to be unleashed and didn't like it and kind of acted out in certain ways. I, I think that moments like this is when the writers are like, ah, Damon's getting too nice, is going back to being Yeah, bad it, it definitely keeps us on our toes. This is like, you want him to be redeemed, so it'll make sense that Elena's like with him. Because it's like, why would you be with someone so impulsive? But the thing is, he, he is a crazy, impulsive vampire in love with his brother's girl. Klaus said it the best. Yeah, he did. <laughs> so, um, he has to be impulsive. Just when you think he's sweet and charming, and but still has that sexy edge, he's totally still wrong for her. For so many reasons. Like, killing a lark. <laughs> yeah, that was, I loved how he looked at the ring, and he was like, you're in my way. Snap, snap. And, so, and no, I love the look Elena gave him. Like, what's wrong with him? Like, dude, he just killed someone. She's just like, oh. I love how <laughs> at the like, end, it's not that big with how you. at the end he was making the drink, and he's just like, he just set it down. Like, ah, oh, he's my bro, so I'm gonna make him a drink. And and when he he's like, oh, and he woke up, he's like, that took longer than usual. He just kind of like gave him the drink, like, you know, kind of like, oh, we're friends again. <laughs> I love that. Was, like, he just expected him to get over it, or like, he hoped to just get over it. Well, why wouldn't they? <laughs> they all get over it eventually. I guess so. <laughs> he got over it the first time. <laughs> yeah. And so. They all just get over it anyway. And Elena gets over stuff real fast. <laughs> But you At know, least she's uncomfortable and kind of freaked out when he appears in the room, like, on edge, like, is he about to kill someone? They should be. They yeah, should, they should be. be. Why would they ever trust him? Because the only person that's safe around Damon is Elena. Um, an Alaric, he, at the end of the episode, he found, like, a purpose. You know, because, you, you know, in the beginning of it, it was kind of like, the season is like, uh, Are they going to kill this guy? Is, yeah, he's probably next on the list um to go you know but and he's just kind of like your daughter's a vampire your son's a werewolf we need some more humanity back on this council i'll be at the next meeting and so that was you know that was interesting and i think that was something that needed to happen once again a little bit more realism on the show because kind of like hold up i'm human <laughs> you know yeah, back to the Bear me fans. What'd you see? And I are just like, oh, we belong together. And it breaks my heart to see them apart. Yeah. <laughs> just I like, feel, Jeremy, kudos to that actress, man. Like, I'm sorry, but I really wanted Jeremy with Anna. Like, I'm like, find a way to bring her back. Find yeah. a way. <laughs> I, yeah, I want Jeremy to be with Anna too. There's no way they can be together. I mean, that'd be just, you know. Yet. <laughs> Yet. Well, I don't know why and, and, Bonnie you know, would find a way to bring back his dead girlfriend. And you'll find, but you're finding out these ways that he can communicate with the other side, become the official ghost whisperer of the show, and now he's starting to touch her, and it's just like, how far can this go, or will this go, you know? When Stefan went back to Gloria, trying to, I knew that was going to go wrong, especially since it was in the trailer for torturing him a little bit, and then I was like, how's he going to get out of this? I totally forgot Catherine was in the city. I totally forgot for a second. So Catherine killed Gloria. I'm glad she's back in the picture. Yeah. Because she has, you know, that little extra. You know what? I want stuff in. I think he needs to spice it up. And with that other girl, Klaus's sister, or I think him and Catherine would be uber interesting. Because I like their chemistry of, I despise you. Yes, I do. And she's just like, I love that you despise me, but I'd rather have you love me. Mm -hmm. Like, I like their chemistry. A whole lot more than I like his and Elena's. And I'm not trying to bash the Elena's, but that's just how I feel. And, and yeah. just for it, the sake of it being more intriguing, that's what I, yeah. I think would spice things up. Bad Stefan and, 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 and Catherine together, I think that'd be more interesting as far as Elena with Damon. Or even with 
Paul's his sister because he obviously liked her. Elena and Damon are together in real life. I mean, it would make sense for them to have more. They've always had more chemistry, and it makes sense that they're together. Klaus's sister, I don't know, she did kind of have an annoying moment. She's like, I'm not a brat. Don't say I'm a brat. He's just like, well, time spent with you says otherwise. I love Klaus. I love Klaus. Like, he's great. He's just like that, you know... It's just like him and Damon are like the comedian has become the, com the you know the have the comedian well they said they were they were looking the for when they're looking for Klaus they're looking for someone who could out Damon Damon that's what they said they were looking for and I don't know if he's out Damon Damon but he definitely has a similar flair that is still his own so um well they, they're both cocky yeah but Klaus and has witty. more more yeah and, uh, Klaus has more reason to be cocky you know. But mm -hmm. when you think that nobody around you can kill you, I mean, you know, you can joke around about different things all you want because, you know. And so, Klaus to me was just, well, I just, I just love, he's just a great add to the show. I want to go back to Bonnie for a second. I was surprised that Jeremy told her. Cause I, 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 was well, too, I, I but was expecting him to eventually do it, but I didn't think it would be, what is this, episode four or five? Or, but I just didn't think it would happen because this fast uh it was interesting when when uh you know after well first okay when damon and caroline were fighting and he was like i'm stronger she's like yeah but i'm angrier <laughs> that was funny that was funny i love caroline yeah I, I love her too and then you know she saved her dad's life he was like i can't drink your blood she's like oh shut up and do it anyways and, you know but later on he was like honey you're a vampire it's never gonna be all right <laughs> Yeah, I I like that he said that, even though it like hurt her feelings and made her sad. It was just like, let's be real about this for a second. You're a vampire. Yeah. You drink people's realism. Blood. Realism. So, you might say it's prejudiceness, but she's a vampire. So, <laughs> realism. Realism. Yeah, realism. I I like seeing the sheriff and Damon talking again. Like the you know they still have that friendship. They really hadn't shown them really together like just one on one like that you know since you know, before she found out yeah before vampire. she found out that well for sure found out that Caroline was a vampire and so it was it's nice to know that they have that connection because Damon has very few friends in Mystic Falls and <clears throat> I like that Caroline forced Elena to admit that she was attracted. Yeah, see, that's one thing I like about the show, is that they keep moving things along, and it's not slow paced as far as finding out stuff. And I, I, that's the real reason why I wasn't really surprised when Jeremy told Bonnie, because they're really, you know, it's kind of like, let's get some more interesting Well, things. I just I had a different impression because of things that I heard, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, when she's like, what does that make me? And she's like, human, like... Why wouldn't you? He is charming, he is sexy, he is good looking. Yeah, it makes sense, but yeah, you don't have to pine over him or anything like that or spend so much time. Well, they're in a position where she kind of needs him, but really she should just get over Stefan like he said in the last episode. Yeah, I, I'm he really... Because what he said in the previous episode made sense. He's like, it took me so many years to get over it. That's going to be like half your life. It's not even worth it. And it was true. It was true. And I'm also curious of how the connection and the relationship is going to progress between Stefan and Klaus's sister. What the heck is her name? I can't even remember. But anyways, I, you know, because they had a connection enough for her to be able to tell when he's not lying. But then Klaus had said she always had a sense, like some type of supernatural sense of being able to snoop out the truth in a way. But still, you know, she was, they were attached to each other. She probably stronger than him. That's what it seems like. So I'm, I'm curious if he's going to go down that road really deep or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, so I'm curious about that. And uh, in the episode, you find out they're back in, it, in mixed Mystic Falls. Yeah, and there's so. just and doom just washed over Stefan's face. I love the look on Paul's face. Like that was really cool. And and Klaus once again is just like, I'm gonna find out about this. <laughs> I just love it. And so there's just you just know that there's no way. And then you're like, oh snap! Though Damon left town. <laughs> no one there. So she's just like alone. Like there's no getting out of it whatsoever. And so I have no idea 
what's going to happen in the next episode or how it's going to pan out. Uh, we shall see. We shall see. Because I don't see a reason why Klaus wouldn't want to kill Elena. <laughs> Just out of being upset. <laughs> There's, there's, and there's, I don't think there's no way that they could hide unless they went and got the hunter and Klaus was forced to go, but he still would try and find some way, you know, especially, you know, I mean, in the season before, you found out that, you know, how him and Isabel and Catherine would just compel different humans to do their dirty work if they couldn't get to people, like, it's just almost, it's just impossible. I, I don't even, I don't even know. That's what I love about the show. You just can't. You can predict some things, but a lot of things you're just like, oh snap, you know. And every episode has an oh snap moment, I just love it. Yep, so anyways, tell us what you think. I'm Katrina. I'm Christina. And, and we're, we're the, the Gorgeous, gorgeous Geek.